Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you this new Blender add-on. It's called Bender, just like that character from Futurama, if you're old enough to remember it. And this add-on will bend geometry. Well, I know that we have a deform modifier in Blender that bends, but that one is much less powerful than this one that I'm going to show you today. And I know there are some other add-ons that bend, but they bend in edit mode, so it's destructive. Once you bend that geometry, it's gone forever. While this one can bend multiple times, always procedurally, you can go back, unbend, bend, and whatever. And anyway, uh, let's move on really fast. So once you install the add-on, this is where you enable it. And once you enable it, you get this every time you select an object, you will get this side panel BB tools where if you only got the bender add-on, you, you will get this bend it if there are no bends already. For example, this bender has already some bends applied and we got this set up right here. But if there are no bends, you'll get this button bend it and you'll bend it. And what you'll get, you'll get this gizmo that you can control uh, right here with the size of it. So let's just make it a bit smaller and let's just position it a bit on the z-axis and let's decrease this grid spacing so we see a bit better. So what we got here, this is a gizmo and this gizmo shows you the position of the center, which is this, the intersection of this axis and this plane is the center of the bend. You will get these two arcs with arrows that will show you the direction of the bend and then you can use these parameters to change your bends. It's pretty simple. So bend angle, you will set the angle. You can see that everything over this plane will get bent and everything under will not unless you enable this bend both sides. In, the, in that case you will bend also the stuff underneath and, and now we, we can see what position center means. You can position the center, and this will affect the bend, obviously. You can change the orientation of the plane. So now we're facing up, but we can face, for example, on the x-axis like this. And then this is what happens. It's a bit weird, but you can see what's going on. So you can really set your direction of the bend in any possible direction. And then, last but not least, and very important, this is the rotation of the bend plane. So this will practically define the third dimension of the bend. So, like this. Rotated by 90 degrees, now it gets bent over there. And, and you'll see that the gizmo is rotating and these arrows are still showing you the direction of the bend. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's move on. So I've already shown you the bend both sides and uh, here we have that limit bend. So this one is very useful. So this limit bend will limit this bend transformation to only some part of the geometry. Let's set it to zero for now, this bend angle. And you can see that now our gizmo has received another plane, the upper plane, and also these four lines that are kind of making with the original plane this little cube. And what this cube does, it actually tells you that everything, all geometry inside this cube will get deformed, so bent, and everything over it will not. So for example, if I'm going to bend now, you can see that this part of the geometry stays straight, but this one gets bent. And you can control the size of this cube with these three parameters. So what are these parameters? These, these are not the size of that cube, but the let's say half the size of the cube, because it tells us the distance from the center to the edge of that cube. So z-axis like this, x-axis and y-axis. Let's just move the position a bit on the y like this. And now let's try to bend. 
and you can see what happens now. So this part of the geometry that's not inside this cube anymore, this gizmo cube, it's not getting affected while this one is. So that's the limit bend. No limit bend, limit bend. As complicated as your model could get, you can still bend it by just using this like a selection cube and bend only that. And then what we got, we can bypass this bend or enable this bend. We can apply the bend. Now it's part of the geometry. Let's undo. And you can remove this bend. So it'll, it'll be gone. And you can refresh if something goes wrong and I'll tell you in a second what can go wrong. Or, and here is where it becomes really powerful, you can bend it again. So you can add another bend. Once you press this bend it again, this select your bend option will appear up here and you can switch between the first bend and the second one and whichever one you add, you can add 10 bends. And let's for the sake of it, let's try something like this. And now let's add another bend, bend it again. And this one, we're just gonna disable it so that you can see what goes on. So we are in bend number three and we're gonna, uh, where is it? Bypass it. And now uh, you can apply this bend or you can apply all bends. So I've already shown you what applying one of these bends. So if I'm selecting bend number one and apply this bend, then this will get applied. And, but I can also apply all bends and what this does it will apply all bends and delete remove the one that has been bypassed okay let's undo and now let me just show you how does this add-on actually work so it's pretty simple it just adds geometry node modifiers and uh, so once you press that bend it or bend it again it will just add another geometry node modifier and uh, you don't need to worry about it because uh, here is where everything happens so if you apply all bends all these modifiers will disappear but it will leave the ones that are not linked to the add-on so for example apply all bends as you can see all bends modifier all geometry node bend modifiers are gone but the bevel is still here Let's undo for a second. And about that thing that I said that can go wrong, uh, if you remove, for example, this bend three modifier, remove this bend, it will get removed and everything will work fine. But if, for example, you would to remove the modifier like this by clicking on this X button, then you will need to refresh the add-on and everything else will be working just fine and that is practically it i just could just show you how is this bender model posed with these bends okay guys thank you so much for watching and you can download this add-on from the link in the description and i will see you and talk to you in the next one bye bye